Good afternoon, everyone. So I'm here in the storage unit. Kathy's gonna be meeting me here in a little bit. The plan was to pull some sales, and that is still the plan, but I was gonna be here earlier to finish the shelving. And you can kind of see here, I've put that little piece in there, and I've almost got this piece in, and turns out I mismeasured by like a little bit, and it's not, I don't know, it is my fault, but I, I didn't realize that this, bar was overhanging and that I had butted this up against the wall. So um, I'm gonna have to cut these shelf, this shelf section down about an inch and a half and I'm gonna have to take it home to do that. I should be able to still get it done today and that would finish off the shelving for now. And then after that, we're gonna get all the boxes arranged today. And uh, so right now I'm gonna have to take this section of shelving apart but you can kind of see, this is what it would be like if we had uh, another two shelves in the middle aisle here, which is kind of nice. So that is an option if we ever needed to do that. But again, I think I mentioned in the last video, we uh, have room for 70 more boxes and then these shelves are gonna do another 12 boxes. So 82 box, more bo 82 more boxes as it is now. And then if we ended up doing a, a higher middle row, that would be another 24 boxes, which I think is pretty good. And if we really, really had to, we could uh, double this up, kind of move this section over a little bit and then do another row. It would make it a little bit tight in here, but I think that would be able to really maximize the whole space here. And I am still planning on utilizing up here. And what we're gonna do with that is just make some uh, open shoe and boot shelves up there. So they won't be the full um, depth of these shelves. So, you know, I'll probably make them, I don't know, 12 inches or so, uh, just to try to save on some material and all that. So that we're gonna do later on down the line. I think we're okay for now, You because we are using these open shelves as shoe storage for now, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shelf apart before Kathy gets here. We're gonna pull some sails and then uh, we'll, we'll show you guys the storage all organized a little bit later after that. All right, so I've taken apart the shelf to take home and cut it down. Kathy's here. Hi, yep. Kathy. <laughs> And we're gonna start pulling the sails. You've got what, 11 or so to pull? Yeah. We did pull yesterday, nice. so this is over one day. A few just came in since I've left the house, so I'll grab those. So AL. It's gonna be hard with this shelf in between us. <laughs> so these Levi shorts for $21 plus shipping. They are like a vintage orange tab. Yeah. Um, bought for $4.99, so over 21 plus ship. Nice. All right, and then so DW is gonna be yeah. Okay. So after today, <laughs> these are all gonna be. I thought I was coming here today order. for them to be I know, in order. I know, I um, know. But it should. I only have to cut down two boards and come back, screw it all together. It should not take very long. And then I, as my punishment, will organize all these boxes by myself. <laughs> Um, We're just joking. I'm not punished. And, and that's punishment. my punishment. I'll list that's your <laughs> a double the amount of items I normally do this week to catch up. <laughs> All right. Uh, all these Crocs. These are the, called the City Lane Roca, I believe. Bought them for $9.99. So for $30, 41 cents plus shipping pretty quickly. This Sweet. style tends to be pretty low. Well for Crocs. All right. And then EP. Bionic flip flops, bought for $9.99, sold for $34.76 plus shipping. Cool. So I think we've decided that we're gonna go starting A up in that corner, kind of do what we did. A as far as that goes, and then keep it going down this way. So in those four rows there, or five, six rows, whatever, mm -hmm. <laughs> however many rows there are. And then we're gonna carry on from this way, this way, right? We're gonna go kind of so, yeah. all around the room clockwise. And then, I don't know, what should we do with the middle? I mean, I just think the middle is like kind of where it's always possibly changing or getting added to. Yeah. We might add a second one of these if we need it, right? Yeah. So Ooh, that, yeah, that's... That has to be the end, but then we can change it as need be. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm just, I, you, you made me think of something because we can kind of go this way, right? And then this can be more like this way. You also said this we're way. putting a letter right now on both sides. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, the letter on both sides can, right, that it'll be fine. If there's a second <laughs> right. Um, so. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which <laughs> should we start in this corner going this way? So like A, B, C, obviously not A, B, C, but A, B, C, D, E, F, G that way. Or should we start that way? I feel like since like it's going like that, then it would just go like that. I don't know. Right. Should we let them decide <laughs> and then we'll blame <laughs> them? They're going to decide that. <laughs> They're going to just be like split. That's how it always gets. <laughs> Head over to Instagram. I'll have Kathy do an Instagram poll and we'll do whatever the poll says. <laughs> All right. E, F. Is up here? Right above you. All right. So these Nike Flex, I believe, bought for $5.50, sold for $35. Someone offered and I accepted it on Poshmark. CR. If it's over there, I'll just... We'll trade places after I oh, okay. go through the side. So EW. Some kids Nike. Bought for $4.99, sold for $30 with discount shipping. So someone accepted their Pasha VA offer that went out. Sweet. Um, CU is over there. Box S. Dr. Scholl's, a wedge. I kind of only bought these because they were like a, a wedge. I thought this was a good style. I pass on most Dr. Scholl's, but I did pay $9.99, figuring I could about double my money, which is about all I did. $26.06 plus shipping. It was probably like an $11 or $12 profit. Okay. All right. A-Y. X-Y. Some men's Olakai, nice leather sneaker, bought for $10.99, accepted a $45 offer on Posh. AS, this is a viewer sale. Sweet. Going out to Christy. Thank you for another purchase, Christy. Uh, some David Bitten, Buffalo by David Bitten jeans. So these were bought during Binsmith, I believe. 207 cost of goods and 216 with discount shipping. So thank you, Christy. Sweet. Christy, thank you so much for all the support. We appreciate it very much. Right, CG's over there. And then BB. These are a pair of Patagonia men's, like a chukka boot. Bought for $7.99, accepted a $65 offer on those. Cool. Oh, oh, change places? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> around the oh. It feels like it's <laughs> Almost knocked these shelf pieces down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, CG. All right. Uh, these, I believe, were also from Benjamin. I just kind of bought these because they were just a shoe that was basically new without the box. I don't know the brand. I just thought they were like a cute summer sandal. Anyways, someone offered 10 bucks, I accepted. You know, they originally had like a TJ Maxx, I think like $20 tag on them. So hmm. I had a $1.61 cost of goods. So like a $6 profit or something probably. Not bad. Not too bad. Six bucks, almost like on a whim, right? Yeah. <laughs> See you. Where oh where. <laughs> so we sold one of these last week or so. And then I sold another. I have two more, so O'Neill, like a floral women's rash guard. Bought these retail arbitrage for 10. This one sold for $21.71 plus shipping. Sweet. Lastly, CR. Little baby reef flip flops. So those also I think came from Ben's Mist. I recorded my cost of goods at zero. I think I was gonna take these to once upon a child and then orig originally and then decided I'll just sell them myself because I think they would sell these for like two fifty at Once Upon a Child, which, which means, means they give like, me like seventy five uh, cents. Yeah. So I ended up <laughs> selling them on Posh for twelve, which means I make nine oh five. So okay, yeah. not too bad. It's better than seventy five cents for sure. Yep. I don't see any new sales came in because there's no service. Here, so. Awesome. Yeah. Well, 
that's it for what sold. Kathy's gonna, I guess we're both gonna go back. Let's, we're gonna go get some lunch too, Let's right? Get some lunch. Yeah, it's, guys, <laughs> spring break is over. The kids are at school today. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We're going to go enjoy the first lunch together alone in uh, probably a month. It's probably been way longer than um, since spring break, but our spring break is two weeks. So... We're, uh, we're happy today. <laughs> so we're going to go get some lunch. Uh, I'm going to cut the shelves cut down. Kathy's probably out for the day. So you want to say bye to everybody? Bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, after lunch. Get your, some I more get listings. I these up, and then I have 15 more listings to do. I did 15 this morning. Yeah. Because of spring break, I'm trying to catch up. So, yeah. Yeah. But I'll be right back, and we'll get this shelf in and get everything all organized. All righty, guys. I've got it all organized now. Did finish cutting down the shelf and you can kind of see here that it's just a little bit shorter than the one below it but it fits in there and the boxes still fit in so we're good there and yeah it's completely in alphabetical order starting with a all the way in the top and then so this goes all the way abc down to p and then q r s so on and so forth and then goes on to this way so that is that. We still have all these shoes. We did have some of the stuff that was on the upper shelf up there um, that I ended up moving down here for now. Um, but as you can see, we have all this extra space for new boxes. And these boxes are actually at the home. And we're going to be bringing those soon. And yeah, all this space for more activities and stuff. So anyway, that's gonna do it for here. Oh, I did wanna say, so you'll notice we used to have our battery kind of up on the wall over here. Uh, I think I wanna build a little bit of a shelf here. I have a little bit of space between the door that uh, I'll be able to put the shelf there and that will take care of that. And then we do have this rack here that, We've been kind of putting here at the entrance um, so that we can close the door. So yeah, that's, that's the storage unit. <laughs> and now I think Kathy will be pretty set for a while on inventory space. And with her going to mostly shoes only, that's really what we needed. So I did wanna just knock all these out so that it would hold her over while I did some other things like started working more on the schoolie and all that kind of stuff. So guys, thank you so much for watching and we do appreciate you very much. But for today, that is gonna be it. And we'll see you guys next time.